what's happening guys how are we doing uh today i'm just going to give you a tutorial if you own a stream deck you can set a multi-action up so as you can do like emotes and um like the thinking muscle like you pull your notepad out or you can do your like slash me's and stuff uh, you can use a multi-action for that instead of having to type out all the time uh and i'll show you how to do that now so the first thing i do is i set a folder up because obviously there's going to be quite a few so i usually create a folder and then just call it rp commands so after we set that up i jump in a folder and what I do is I come over here, you're going to be using two sections uh, of the Stream Deck uh, software which is the Stream Deck section itself and also the System section so the first thing you want to do is you want to grab multi-action grab this one here and just pull it over uh, as soon as you pull it over and you drop it in it's going to open the multi-action up and I will see here drag an action from the right to, and drop it in here so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab the hotkey for the System section so just grab that over there uh, and what you want to do is click on it after you drag it in and it says here click here to assign a key so this is basically your thinking muscle key so for me it's obviously T right so I click in the box and I just press T and there you go set it as T the next thing you want to do is you want to set a wee delay so come back over here in the stream deck section here grab the delay button drag it over so it's going to have a so a uh, default of a thousand and I'm pretty sure that's like 10 seconds or something so what I tend to do is I tend to drop it to like 100 and that's pretty much just a second. So what that means is after you press the T key, I'll basically del I'll delay whatever you're going to do next by a second. So that just gives it enough time to get the, the, the thinking muscle box up. So what you want to do next is you want to come over here, back into the system section, grab the text element, stick it in there. Uh, and what you want to do here is basically any command you want, so for instance I'll just do forward slash E dance to right so that's pretty much going to do the emote dance to uh, right the important part about this section is there's a little button here saying press enter after message you want to make sure that's clicked because if that's not clicked and you press the button it just won't do the action you have to manually press enter whereas if you just have that clicked after you press the button it'll just automatically press enter for you and the command will start again so that's that. That's basically it. That's all you do. You stick in a system hotkey, stick in a delay for a second, and then whatever command you want. So if, for instance, I put a forward slash E command, you could put forward slash me commands, forward slash radio name, like just whatever command you usually put in, put in the text box, and then also make sure you press that, that button there. Press enter after the message, and that's it. That's basically it. You just set a name for it. So me, it's dance to, so I know that button when I press that, that's going to do the dance to command. I'll just show you that in 5M now. Hey, so we've got 5M loaded up, so I'm going to get my RP actions folder. I'm going to smash the dance to button right now. As you can see there, just briefly, you seen that wee box come up, I'll do that again. But as you can see, my man started dancing there. So if we just check up the corner right up here, two seconds, I'll press phone. Right, so you see that, that thinking muscle box, like literally for a split second, just came on the screen. As you can see there, boom, and uh, the emote starts. And uh, as I said, you can do it for pretty much anything. You have your mechanic emote, maybe guys dancing whilst he's singing. There we go, a wee finger emote. There we go. <laughs> so pretty much anything you can think of, guys, with your forward slash E's, forward slash me's, and uh, basically any other command like radio name, radio volume, etc. You can smash in that text box. Make sure you've clicked that enter button, and you're good to go. So now we know that's working, and that's how we set up. Instead of doing that every single time, dragging it all over, all you do is right, basically right click, press copy, click on the next square, right click again, press paste, go back inside the multi action, just go to the system text it, like area, and just delete this command here. So for instance, I'll set my radio name. So radio name, Harry B. Yeah, I'm a prospect right now, and uh the old lost MC. So every time I go on the radio, I need to set my name as Harry B Prospect. So rather than have to type that out all the time, as soon as I come in, I can just press this button and it's just going to set my radio name to Harry B. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope it helps you a wee bit. And uh, I'll see you in Scorer.